Good afternoon. Oh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. This is my blog. Uh, today I will teach you how to search in ASP dot net MVC, or you can say filtering data in ASP dot net MVC. So, so first of all, add a AD, uh, ADMX file, or you can say ADU dot net data entity model uh, that you learn previously in a better way so uh, you can skip that part but remember that this is the important part because in this video I will connect my front end with this back end so I need it okay so before doing this task I will explain you or you can say I have to explain you what is searching searching is a method through which we can filter the data or you can say record from a single table or the multiple tables but in this example I will taking only single table okay so the man led logic behind this video or you can say behind this article first of all that is the model class you can see Similarly, retrieve all data in a controller by using link query. After getting all the data, you can filter in a view by using text box. In a view section, I will submit a single searching word in a text box that is searching and searching pass to the controller so create a home controller that is already exist so create a new one student okay that's fine similarly in the student controller get all the data from the model class by using the context class that is banking system entities okay so here make an object of that class and by using that public by using this public property which is including in banking system entity class we can communicate with the database table or you can see model class where student in a DB from by using that is uh, this is the link query from as in DB dot what is this user accounts this is a public property exists in the banking system entities select S select variable as okay that's fine now come to the second part select if student written value or you can say when we uh, when we put any text in the text box for the filter that is null or not if that uh, that string is null or you can say not null not string dot is null or empty that is the, this is the searching string actually which is passed 
passing in the text box okay so simple if your passing string in the text box is null is not null then getting according to the text box get the result according to the text box so student equals to students dot where searching it's not a actually method so student dot uh, uh, by using their s dot um, name where is the name name is dot contains is a word through which we can uh, compare the searching data okay in else section or you can say without any else section you can directly load data using the students that is the old students so pass in a view return view section a student dot to list in a view section must to initialize i enumerated class for this so before adding a view must to build that project mt model class is user account and data context is banking system entities okay because uh, that controller action method return a list so here we have enumerated list i enumerable okay now come to the second part using form dot method begin form uh form directly pass to that uh, same index method uh, with the get method so here we have a controller name is student and the that form method is form method dot get and the controller name is indexed okay there is one index okay now simple design a text box here at the rate html dot text box and pass a simple string is here with the name that is the name of the text box searching okay and simple submit button input type equals to submit okay that's fine now after doing this you uh, if you want to bind a table with the model so use for each loop there is different kinds of uh fields is there so here we have name and the father name okay that's it the single header row and after doing this at the rate as for each loop variable item in model and initialize 
a new row for each tuple. So TR, TD, that is table cell, HTML dot display for I want to bind this uh, row with the model class so display for model item item dot name and similarly for the father name okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please share my video if you like and please subscribe my channel if you like uh, don't forget this uh, please subscribe my channel I request you please subscribe my channel in an application start file you um, if you want to set the default startup file or you can say startup controller that is student action method is similar index so please share my uh, video if you like please 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 again thank you you can see your result